Hi everyone, I'm Ephany Gale and today I'm going to be answering the AuthorTube newbie tag questions. This is going to be more of just a casual chat. For those who don't know, AuthorTube is the community of authors on YouTube and when you join AuthorTube you can optionally choose to answer these questions in the AuthorTube newbie tag, which is what I'm going to be doing today. Question one is, how did you find out about AuthorTube? So I'm not sure exactly when I found out about AuthorTube. I think the first person who I heard about it officially from was Alexa Dunn. She has a great AuthorTube channel that I will link to down below. And I think that YouTube probably served her up as a recommendation because I was looking at BookTube channels, which probably came up because I was looking at other types of media content on YouTube because I really like media discussions. Question two is, what genres do you write in? So I write almost exclusively in science fiction and fantasy. I tend to write more fantasy than science fiction, but that is changing a little bit more recently. Some of my sort of more darker fantasies or starker sci-fi, some people have classified as horror before. One of the key understandings of horror as I know it is that you are trying to invoke that feeling of discomfort or fear, and that's not something that I ever intend to uh, invoke in my audience when I write, but if people are feeling that or if people think that my stories fall into horror for them, totally fine. Um, a lot of my fiction also sort of straddles the line between a few different genres, whether that's sort of a combination of sci-fi and fantasy or whether it does have that horror element or whether it is sort of more borderline science fiction fantasy where there could possibly be kind of a real world explanation or uh, it feels quite grounded in reality, but there's sort of that tinge of, of magic or speculativeness about it as well. Question three is, what is your preferred writing tense, point of view and category of story, for instance, children's, young adult, new adult, etc. So for my preferred writing tense, um, I do feel quite strongly about present tense. I write in past tense sometimes as well, but present tense is kind of my default and what I keep gravitating towards. Um, I'm interested whether sort of my background in stage play and screenplay writing has affected that because when you write scripts you write them in the present tense. So I'm wondering whether that has influenced my prose as well but I do really enjoy that feeling of immediacy that you get in the present tense that something is happening right now and you're watching that while it's happening rather than sort of having something relayed to you later, like you do with past tense. For point of view, I don't really have a strong preference either way. Some of my stories are written in first person, some of them are written in third person. I think probably more of them are written in first, but it's really just about whatever's going to serve the story the best and often something will just come out when I start to write the story and occasionally I'll change that, but usually usually the story itself will dictate which point of view would be best to tell it in. So I will just sort of uh, let it tell me what point of view it wants to be in. For category of story, the majority of my work is adult, but sometimes I will intentionally set out to write something new adult or young adult instead. I think because of the ages of a lot of my protagonists, uh, the, the line there can be a little bit blurred. So even though I would categorise the vast majority of my short fiction as uh, adult, I think definitely there could be an argument made that uh, it has a lot of young adult crossover value or new adult crossover value, uh, depending on what lens you're viewing that particular story through. Question four is, are you a plotter, pantser or plantser? I find this a little bit hard to answer in the context of short fiction because people usually talk about it with the uh, the lens of novel writing but uh, basically for the majority of my pieces I will want to know at the very least kind of the beginning a couple of points in the middle and the ending before I'll start to write. Um, most of the time I will know all of the major plot beats between the start and the finish um, but I will at least want kind of a general structure before I start. Uh, occasionally, if I'm just writing a flash piece, I might start with just 
sort of the the seed of an idea and see where that takes me but I certainly wouldn't want to do that with anything longer than around about that 1000 maybe 1500 word mark um, if it's going to be any longer than that I really do need to know quite solidly where I'm going I will never know all of the details of a piece in advance but um, all of the major steps I like to have worked out in advance so question number five is, are you self-published, published, or yet to be published? I am published, or as they tend to say in the authorship community, I am traditionally published uh, from the short fiction community that I come from. Uh, we don't tend to use that word a lot, um, but if you're talking about whether I would sell my fiction to publishers who aren't me and they give me money and then they publish my work, then Yes, uh, that is what has happened with the vast majority of my short fiction. And then what I've also done is once there were enough of my uh, short fiction pieces to put a collection together, I have self-published that through my micro press called Fockgrove Press. So to show you an example, this is a lovely anthology called Black Apples, published by Belladonna Publishing. And I have a story in here, this is one of my older ones, called sickly sweet and it has been reprinted in my collection next curious thing so this is sickly sweet in next curious thing question six is what publishing company literary agent and or printing company are you represented by so i have had my work published by a whole range of publishers at this point probably about two dozen so I'm not going to list them in this video but in the short fiction world we usually have sort of a list of top three credits that we would put in a submissions cover letter so I'll tell you those now uh, my top three credits are Beneath Ceaseless Skies, Constellary Tales and Daily Science Fiction. Question seven is what authortube related videos can we expect to find on your channel? So the videos that I have posted so far are about how to get started writing and publishing and selling your short fiction and also a little bit more about just being a writer. You can certainly expect to see more content like that. I'd also like to do some more uh, general things about the short fiction community, maybe some interviews, uh, maybe some I don't know, top 10 lists about publishers or stories or that kind of thing. Um, but just kind of entertaining author tube content with more of a focus on the short fiction community and landscape that I'm familiar with that I haven't seen really represented on YouTube in my personal experience of author tubes so far. Question eight is when did you start writing? So this is probably a cliched answer but I really have been writing for as long as I can remember. I can't remember a particular age that I started. Um, I was definitely writing by about the age of six or so. Um, very very basic short stories. Building on that question nine is what is the first story you ever wrote? So I'm sure I can't remember the very first story I ever wrote because I would have been very small indeed, but the first one that I remember writing was when I was in year two. I think I was seven. We had just been taught that a story has a beginning, middle and an end, and we had to write something uh, as a result of that lesson. But uh, me being me, I decided that I would write a story, but that a beginning, middle and end was not necessary and I would deliberately write one without those things. And I wrote a story about a little girl in a sewer and she was happy there, the end. Question 10 is, what authors have inspired you the most? So there are many, many authors that have inspired me, uh, most of which I can no longer remember because I have a terrible memory and because there are so many of them. But I will particularly call out Catherine Valenti, who is my favourite author, um, who writes a variety of wonderful novels and short stories. And my wife, Tara Callaby, has also been an enormous inspiration for me. She was the one who explained to me that I could start writing short fiction in the first place. And she writes her own and she does amazing things and is just generally a great inspiration to me and my writing. Question 11 is, do you schedule your writing sessions or just write whenever you find the time? 
I don't generally schedule my writing, but I do try to make sure that I write every weekend if at all possible. Um, that doesn't always happen, but most of the time it does. I try and write at least 500 words every weekend. Um, sometimes I write more, sometimes I write a little less, but occasionally if I do have the time and mental space aside from that, I will write when I feel like it. Question 12 is, do you type on a computer, a typewriter, write everything out by hand or use a blend of those? And where do you write in general? So for most of the time I'm writing on a computer, but some of my stories I do write by hand. It sort of depends a bit on the story. I find that writing things out by hand is better for sort of detailed dramatic scenes that are not telling and that the computer is better for uh, that brevity, that conciseness that I tend to want in a lot of my short fiction. For instance, uh, Little Freedoms, which is very much a moment by moment kind of description of what is happening over a couple of days. That was written by hand, uh, but most of my work is on the computer. And where do I write in general? I almost always write on the couch. I used to sometimes go out and write by hand uh, on a table in a park. And sometimes I write on public transport if I need to. Um, I have been known to just uh, get out my phone if there is a story that I particularly want to start telling right that moment. And I will either type in my email app or in my notes app and just get that first 500 words or so down um, while I'm on public transport. Question 13 is, what are you most looking forward to now that you're part of AuthorTube? So I'm certainly interested in interacting more with the AuthorTube YouTube community. That's very exciting. Um, but I'm also very interested in potentially getting the short fiction community that I'm already a part of um, more involved with AuthorTube and vice versa and seeing if there can be some uh, cross pollination there. So that was the AuthorTube newbie tag questions. I hope you enjoyed this more kind of casual chat. If you are in the AuthorTube community, I would love it if you would leave a comment on this video. I would love to interact with some more people and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye.